today i discuss one important topics related to in your product space okay obviously jam smith orthogonalization process we we'll also discuss now today i start from one definition okay we we'll write it here now definition okay let beta be an orthonormal subset let beta be an orthonormal subset okay possibly infinity possibly infinite okay of an inner product space P of an inner product space B okay and let x belongs to b and let x belongs to b we define the fourier coefficient we define the fourier coefficient okay we define the fourier coefficient of x relative to beta to be the scalar to be the scalar okay x y five y belongs to beta five y belongs to beta understood then what happened the page mathematician g defer it for the year okay was associated with the study of this scalar this one zero two by uh, if the sign in the dt okay and zero to two by if the cos in dt okay then more generally or more generally what or more generally cn equal to 1 by 2 pi yeah 0 to 2 pi if t to the power minus i n t d okay for a function x for a function okay then what happened then cn equal to wait it is our question i'm going to have the discussion of that then cn equal to f f n okay for f n t equal to t bar i n t for f n t equal to t power i n t okay that is cn is the that is cn is the nth Fourier coefficient nth Fourier coefficient n Fourier coefficient for a continuous function if for a continuous function if belongs to v relative to s okay then in this way we will to discuss this one that means Fourier coefficient of x relative to one polar basis beta okay orthonormal um, basis or orthonormal subset beta then how this one is that means the scalar inner product of x y okay this one just inner product of x y 
now we are also going to discuss in another um, example related to that so we edit that course okay We write it, it here. Example. Okay. Let A is equal to A to the power I and T where N belongs to Z. Okay. Then A was shown to be an orthonormal set in H. Okay. We also shown that that means this one be an orthonormal okay orthonormal set in H okay we also see this one okay then now what the Fourier coefficient of if t we now compute okay we compute we compute the Fourier coefficient of the Fourier coefficient of if t equal to t okay relative to s relative to s okay now using integration by parts we have for n equal to 0 using integration by parts okay for we have for n not equal to 0 okay here if if n equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of 0 to pi e to the power i and t conjugate t e to the power i and t conjugate dt equal to 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi t e to the power minus i and t dt equal to minus 1 by i n. okay and for n equal to 0 and for n equal to 0 what happen here if 1 equal to 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi okay t multiplied by 1 dt equal to pi understood then what happen is here okay then we have obtained an upper bound for the sum of a special infinite series as follows okay so now we obtain we obtain an upper bound we obtain an upper bound okay for the sum of a for the sum of a special infinite series special infinite okay series as follows series as follows okay we erase our portion and going to further discussion of that
norm 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 of f square greater than equal to n equal to minus k to minus one here if if n square inner product of if if n mod square here inner product of if one mod square here n equal to one to k if if n non square okay equal to n equal to minus k to minus one here one by n square plus here pi square here summation n equal to one to k one by n square equal to two by n equal to one to k one by n square plus pi square for every k okay then what happened now using the fact that okay now using the fact norm of f square equal to 4 by 3 pi square we obtain 4 by 3 pi square greater than equal to 2 summation n equal to 1 to t 1 by n square plus pi square or this one pi square by 6 greater than equal to n equal to 1 to k 1 by n square okay hence what happened is here then the inequality holds for all k when we let k tending to infinity to obtain hence the inequality hold for all k we may let we may let k tending to infinity to obtain pi square by 6 greater than equal to n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square okay in this way we also done this one okay so what we do here we also do too easily that that means we also discuss one Fourier coefficient and this one equal to is int where n is an integer okay and is was to be an orthonormal set in a then what happened then if if n equal to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi t e to the power int and equal to 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi t e to the power minus int equal to minus 1 by i n okay this one we also discuss now and also shows that n equal to 1 to n 21 by n square less than equal to pi square okay then we are also now going to discussion one definition of orthogonal complement okay we now erase that portion and going to discuss that one definition So here we write definition, okay.
let s be a non empty subset let s be a non empty subset of an inner product space b of an inner product space b okay now we define we define this path okay to be the set to be the set of all vectors in p set of all vectors in p okay that are orthogonal to that are orthogonal to every vector okay, that are orthogonal to every vector in s okay that is that is what this path equal to x belong to p such that x inner product of y equal to 0 for all y belongs to this okay the set the set is path is called the is called the orthogonal complement is called the orthogonal complement of this okay then this one is the orthogonal complement now is path is a is a subspace of p is a subspace of p okay for any subset is of p for any subset is of p okay then we're going to discuss one example related to that okay we now erase that portion and going to discussion on example so we now write here example okay here zero perpendicular equal to p and p perpendicular equal to zero for any inner product space b for any inner product space b understood that then we are also going to discussion of that okay why this one is happened this one is too easy i think okay that means any inner product will be if the zero um, vector is with all vector of v is um, gives inner product of zero and obviously here um, we write that means if zero path equal to that means um, also write any vector with inner product zero equal to zero okay here just zero with a all vector and here zero with all vector inner product is zero okay now we also discuss
today we also discuss here okay those portions today we also discuss here another example okay If P equal to R cube, if P equal to R cube, okay, and A is equal to E3, then what happen? Then A is power equals what? Equals the, equals the X, Y, Z, okay. Why this one happen? That means we write it in this way is power equal to here x y zero okay. belongs to our cube such that x y zero inner product of zero zero one equal to zero okay now we also give this discussion related to that okay what is here that means we also consider the distance from a point to a plane okay then this one is what the desired the distance is clearly y difference u okay that means here r cube in our cube okay the distance from a point to a plane the distance from a point from a point p to a plane w to a plane w okay then what happened if let y be a vector determined by 0 and p, we may restrict the problem, okay? Determine the vector u in w is the closest to y. That means, also write, determine the vector, determine the vector u, okay, in w is that is closest to that is closest to what y okay how this one is happen we we'll also discuss now the desired distance we reach our portions okay we reach our portions and right is here okay what that means the desired distance, the desired distance is norm of y difference u. Okay. And then this one is what? The vector z, the vector z equal to y difference u is orthogonal to every vector each orthogonal to every vector okay orthogonal to every vector in w okay and so z belongs to w part okay now what we write it here okay we also draw one figure and we write it now. Okay. Here P. Here. Here zero. Here U. Here Y. Then this one equal to z equal to y difference u. 
okay understood this one is not a problem at all too easily we do it okay so today i stop here if you get this type of video please subscribe my channel if you have any questions comment suggestions write it in comment box if you want to give like please click on like options okay so today we discuss Fourier coefficient related example and obviously shows that summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square less than equal to pi square by 6 then going to definition of orthogonal complement of a set then obviously gives example related to that topic okay and we also shows that last this one is how we find one orthogonal vector in a space okay that means the distance from a point p to a plane how we find this then we going to this okay so today i stop here thank you